Hey everyone! This is your new Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Everything you need to get up and streaming is in the box. Your Roku Streaming Stick Plus, remote control, power adapter, USB power cable with advanced wireless receiver, USB power extender cable, batteries, and a quick start guide. First, find an available HDMI input on your TV. If you plan to watch 4K or 4K HDR content on your Roku player, make sure that input supports HDCP 2.2. Be sure to note which HDMI input you choose so you can also tune your TV to the same source. If your Roku Streaming Stick Plus will not connect to your TV due to space restrictions, we offer a free HDMI extender cable. Order yours at my.roku.com slash HDMI. Now, on your TV remote, look for the button labeled Input or Source or something similar to toggle to the same input you used for the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Don't worry, you won't see anything on the screen just yet. Now, let's power up your Roku Streaming Stick Plus in remote. First, connect the small end of the USB power cable with advanced wireless receiver into the Roku Streaming Stick Plus like this. And the other end into either the USB port on your TV, or preferably, use the included power extender cable and power adapter to plug directly into a wall outlet. Insufficient power from a TV USB port can lead to instability, crashing, or other unpredictable behavior. In a few moments, the Roku logo will fill your screen. Just in case it didn't, be sure you're tuned in to the correct input on your TV. If you want more help with this, visit go.roku.com slash select input. Next, insert the included batteries into your remote and make sure they're seated firmly and positioned correctly. A light on your remote will start flashing, signaling it's ready to pair. If there's no light, try a fresh set of batteries. Your remote should pair automatically. If it doesn't, press and hold the pairing button for five seconds. A light in the battery compartment or on the remote will start flashing, signaling it's ready to pair. Once successful, select your language. Now, let's connect your Roku player to your network so you can activate your Roku account and start streaming your favorite movies and TV shows over the internet. If you don't see your network listed, Select Scan Again to see all networks. Remember, you're looking for the same network you connect your computer or your smartphone to. Now, select your wireless network and enter your wireless password. Remember, your password is case sensitive. Use this button when you need to capitalize the letter. If all checks are green, you're good to go. If a red X appears at any time, we've got troubleshooting tips at go.roku.com slash connectivity. Your Roku player will download the latest software so you can get the latest features and channel updates automatically. When the update completes, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote, and your Roku player will analyze the HDMI connection and determine the best resolution for your TV. If the results aren't what you expected, make sure all HDMI cables are firmly attached and remember, if you want to watch 4K or 4K HDR content, the input on your TV must support HDCP 2.2. If you make any changes, analyze the HDMI connection again. When you're ready, continue with automatic configuration and confirm the screen looks good. Now let's set up your Roku remote to control the volume and power on your TV. Select Check Remote Settings, and music will begin playing. If you hear it, point the Roku remote at your TV and confirm. If you don't hear it, turn up the volume with your TV remote. Next, your Roku remote will attempt to mute the volume. Confirm that you no longer hear the music. Or, if it's not muted, manually enter the brand of your TV and try again or tablet and download the Roku mobile app for iOS and Android. Your app turns your device into a fully functioning Roku remote for your Roku player and lets you display photos on your TV 
or use your headphones for private listening, and plenty more. That's it, your Roku streaming stick is all set up to enjoy great entertainment. If you need help adding or removing streaming channels, or if you want to personalize the Roku home screen, visit support.roku.com. You'll also find tips for optimizing your wireless network and steps for troubleshooting. Happy streaming!